Welcome back. Welcome back to a beautiful day and another adventure. Today we're in Formby and our plan is for a coastal wild camp today. Got a bit of company today again, Tony and Chris. As usual, the links will be in the description below. Hopefully you'll stick around and enjoy it with us. So come on, let's do it. So we're just on the fisherman's path, making our way out towards the coast. I had done a camp here before, and I did say during that camp that I would return. It's taken two years, but here I am doing it. So hopefully tonight we should get some uh, nice star shots, maybe a nice um, time lapse of the sky again. Like we did on the uh, pilot video. So stick around, see how we get on. This is a beautiful path. Widowmakers. Here we go, this is our camp spot for the night. Look at that for a view. Absolutely stunning. There you go, she's pitched very gingerly, I may add. My knee is wrecking me. But, there she is. Nature Act, Cloud Peak 2. I tried to do a bit of a time lapse setting it up, but the, uh, the camera ended up getting blown over, so you've probably not seen that. So, we're all set up now. Both doors open. Great feature about this tent. You can probably see Chris through there setting his tent up. We're more or less all finished now. But yeah, usual stuff in here tonight. Just no foil blanket on the floor. Um, Therma rest. I may, I've still got my outkit bag. I've not switched out to my quilt yet because it still goes a bit cold at night. But got my little setup over there. Got the Vimto for later. And I stashed my bag in this side. So, all good. Wait for them stars to come out now. View from the tent. Well, it's time for a brew on the old uh, tailless coffee bags today. Make a nice brew, then.
Cheers. Well, there's camp. There's my attempt at nature out cloud peak too. And there's Chris and Tony. They're both in the scarps tonight. First time Tony's used a scarp. First picture of that. Chris has been out in ease before. They're pretty, pretty sturdy in the wind so far. We've had a brew and we're just waiting for the sun to sink into the sea. Hopefully we'll get a time lapse of that and hopefully we'll get some star shots tonight. Hopefully it's going to be a clear night. So we'll stick around and see what we get. So Tony, what do you think of it so far? It's mint in it. What a spot. Well done mate. What a spot. Top place. He's playing that. What are you thinking, Chris? Superb, really nice, lovely location. Chris is uh, starting tea. Can all feel our belly rumbling. It's time for tea. Tonight's choice chicken curry, just the adventure foods. Nothing too adventurous tonight. Couldn't be bothered cooking anything. Maybe on the next one I'll cook something else up. So let me know what you want me to cook. If it's something easy, I'll give it a go. But for now, I'm going to boil some water up and then uh, get that demi grid. See you in a bit. I've said it before with these meals make it easy getting to the right height for your water level. You put a nice tight fold in the packet on the outside where the marker is, then it makes it easier to see on the inside. Makes it easier when you're filling your water up, I suppose. You're not guessing where it goes to. Top tip. Well, it's time for tea beside the seaside. The chicken curry and a nice can of Stella to wash it down with. It's 10 minutes and I'm going to give me best 10 minutes to it. They're never the best, but they do the job, yeah. There you go. Well, I've had my tea, I've just set a time lapse of the sunset, so hopefully I'll be able to show you that and you'll be able to see that sun going down. I don't think we're going to get any special colours in the sky tonight because there's just no clouds, so... But we might get some uh, We might get some stars tonight, so hopefully we'll get a couple of star pictures for you. So, I'll catch you soon. Well, there you go, the sun's just dipping into the sea. I don't know how good it's showing it at the moment, but there's a bit of red in there, a bit of golden orange. What a beautiful sunset that is. Let's hope the time lapse works. Well, we've finished taking some photos now. We've got a nice time lapse there and we've taken some nice sunset shots. So, time to chill for a bit now, break out of the vimp tour. Cheers, everybody. Well, we've just taken a few pictures of the, uh, the tent lit up. And we've actually just taken some pictures of Blackpool Tower. And uh, we've taken some of the oil rig as well, we've zoomed right in on them. There's still a bit of colour in the in the sky, so they've come out okay. Tony's still at it up there, you can probably see him just behind me though, just up there. That's not a star by the way. Although he is a star in his own right. Star. <laughs> <Super> star. <Boom. laughs> 
So now it's time to crack open some more bimto. So we'll catch you in a bit. Well, we retired to the tent. What a cracking night we've had. Oh, absolutely amazing. Watching the stars, there's been a couple of shooting stars and satellites going up across um, in the sky. Absolutely amazing. If you've never been outside at, at night, you need to get yourself outside and have a look up, up in the sky. And just, it just amazes you when you, when you, when you look at it. Uh, we've managed to get a couple of pictures over towards Blackpool, get some nice astro shots towards that way and out towards the oil rig and then we've got some astro shots of the tents lit up. Um, so hopefully you're gonna see them um, while I'm sleeping. And also we've got a time lapse going, um, so you'll see that too. So I'll catch you all in the morning and I'll see you in a bit. Night everybody. We've survived. Good night last night. Not much wind. Had a good sleep. So it's coffee time. I'll see you in a bit. See what we get outside. There's the view from the tent this morning. You might just be able to see Tony's camera up there. He's already up. He's been taking a few photographs this morning. It's a lovely morning. Got the sun just coming up over the trees over there. <coughs> now, I don't know what the situation is with the tide. It sounds like it's in. Quick walk up here. Oh, it's not too bad. There you go. Probably just make out the wind farm. Just catching the light. Time to get a coffee on. As Dave, the solo summer tea, would say, it's a brew with a view. It's just a coastal view. Well, it's a double coffee kind of morning. We've got the stove back on again though, and uh, just about had my porridge as well. So, all good so far. We managed to get a few pictures um, looking out towards the windmills and see if we could catch some of the sun on the grasses and things like that. And uh, we've just been in the woods there as well, trying to get a few pictures in the woods as well. So if they're any good, as usual, I'll show you them at the end. But for now, it's porridge time.
it's time to say bye to the coast. Great camp that. It's now five to nine in the morning. Look at that. Not a single person on the beach. What a beautiful area. What a great place to spend the night. Well, that's it, we're breaking camp. Three tents here last night. As usual, leave no trace. It's not difficult. And it just it just keeps people off the back off our backs. Just take your stuff home. It's much lighter walking out anyway, so there's no reason why you can't take it with you. I'll catch you in a bit. It's the end of another adventure. Hope you've enjoyed it. We certainly have. We've had a cracking night last night. But you guys, yeah, we're mate, fantastic. Mate. Cheers, Phil. Thanks very much for watching. I'll put the links to Tony's and Chris's channel below. Appreciate it if you go and give them a follow and watch their uh, take on this adventure. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again on the next adventure. See you later, everybody. <laughs>